Kia ora, ho, hanamai, welcome to 5 Minute Maker Space. Today we're doing a Fibonacci sequence, a Fibonacci sequence pattern. So what is that? Well it's a pattern of numbers in which the next number in the series is the sum of the two numbers that came before it. Okay, I'm just going to show you a small diagram of that and then we're going to take a closer look at our graph paper and putting the series into practice. So we are using an A3 sheet of 5mm graph paper and you can download that from the internet by just doing a search. Okay, let's take a closer look. Have your pencil and ruler ready. Make a mark that is 14 squares from the bottom of the page and 19 squares from the right hand side. Now draw your first square, which is a one by one. Now draw another one by one square below that. Next number in the sequence is 2. Draw a 2 by 2 square to the right of the two squares that we've just made. The next number in the sequence is 3. Draw this immediately above the rectangle that you have. The next number in the sequence is 3 plus 2, so we need to draw a 5 by 5 square to the left of the group of smaller squares. The next number in the sequence is 8. Draw this immediately below the rectangle that you have. The next number in the sequence is 13. Draw this to the right of the rectangle that you have. The next number in the sequence is 21. Draw this immediately above the rectangle that you have. And the last number in the sequence is 34. Draw this to the left hand side of the rectangle that you have. Now we can create a collage using the design that we have. And the last piece of this puzzle is to draw the spiral. What you can do is cut out pieces of paper that match each of these squares and lay them on top. It might be glitter, it might be plain, it might be a mix of both. Cut them to size and glue them down. But what we're going to do today is we're going to colour in ours and then make the spiral pattern on top.
And that's finally done. To create the all-important spiral, you could use a compass if you wish to. Set the compass to the length of each square and thereby create a spiral across each pattern of squares. I think in this instance, just to start with, we might attempt to do it freehand. Going across, try another principle. Going across each square in a circular motion. You could go over this with a pen or marker pen if you wish to. You can also decorate it as well. And I thought we'd do that with some of these beads to start with, just to give you an idea of what you can create. And keep going until you've finished your spiral. Can you think of some examples where the Fibonacci spiral is in play? Think of the natural world. What about the silver fern? Could that be a Fibonacci spiral? It's also seen in the art world. Think about the Mona Lisa. That is apparently based on a Fibonacci spiral as well. So have some fun decorating your Fibonacci spiral. See if you can make one or two which are a little bit different. Maybe use some paper, maybe use some colouring in pencils, maybe use some other pieces of material to decorate the spiral with and see what you can come up with. Thanks for joining me today. Please join me again. Ka kite.